Howdy, 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 my darling Sagittarius. How you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be getting into Sagittarius, your weekly tarot reading for July 2022, of course, right? Uh, but darling Sagittarius, if you enjoy this weekly tarot reading, be sure to check out my monthly tarot reading that I did for you. I'll leave a link to somewhere around here, darling. If you enjoy this, though, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates. Give this video a like and subscribe, Sagittarius. It's completely free to do, and it helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate it, darling. All right. Now, Sagittarius, keep in mind when you're consuming general tarot readings, don't just go by your one zodiac sign, darling Sagittarius, all right? Go by your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign. That's how you make these general tarot readings work out the best for you, especially on YouTube. So let's just jump right into this here, Saji. We're going to be doing three rows for you. Your first row is going to be in regards to your career and financial situation, darling. All right. And then in your second row, we are going to be tapping into your social life. Now, Sagittarius, that could be in regards to your platonic relationships, romantic, your career, family, honey. All right. It just, it don't matter. It's your social life. All right. And then in the last row, Saggy, we're going to be just getting into some general tarot messages that y'all need to be hearing at this time. All right. But enough of those rambles, Sagittarius. Let's get into this here. Back of the deck energy, the overall theme for all three of your rows here is the Four of Cups. Don't miss out on this. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Don't miss out on this connection here. You know what this makes me think of, Sagittarius? This makes me think of, you know, in Zelda, um, the one, the last one I played was in Ocarina of Time, so I don't know if it's relevant for any other ones, um, old, newer ones, but I think about like that little wisp. I don't remember the sprite's little name that was always by uh, Link, and it always would go, hey, listen. And I feel like that's the message here for you. It's just like, hey, listen, don't miss out on this opportunity. Don't miss, don't, don't ignore this right you have that four of cups here the four of cups is this individual who is sitting under a tree arms crossed eyes are closed because of their current situation they're frustrated with it they don't know how to really get out of it here um and so they're just very closed off but they don't see the opportunity that spirit's trying to lend to them this full cup here all right so don't miss out on this ask yourself here where you're keeping this four of cups energy in your life all right so now, Sagittarius, let's get in regard, uh, uh, into your weekly tarot reading now for your career, Saggy. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, darling. So you have the Three of Wands, Page of Swords with the Seven of Cups here. All right. Consider your consider more options. I feel as if you could really be successful at diversifying yourself, Sagittarius, if you were to be more open. It's like for you, like you have all these ideas in your head but you never take action towards it but i feel like you're also seeing signs of it as well right where it's just like you're feeling so guided towards like you know doing tarot readings for example or you're feeling so guided to do there's like something in your career that you feel like that interests you but it's like you're not following in that interest you're not being open-minded so this is literally like so fitting for you right seven of cups here like you're not considering your options this seven of cups here is literally sagittarius the epitome like it's like this but magnified when you have this kind of combination all right sagittarius so keep this in mind all right something big something major for your career would be so successful if you were to just follow the trail, if you were to just follow the hints and clues that spirit's leading you to, and they're guiding you by your interest, they're guiding you by your, um, just leaving those clues, darling. All right. So really it, for those Sagittarius that catch on to that, you're going to be extremely successful. You'll be extremely successful if you learn to listen. All right. If you learn to listen. So now, Sagittarius, let's get into your social life here. You have here the Strength Chariot, as well as the Six of Pentacles stepping forward to you. <clears throat> All right. So, Sagittarius, I feel as if someone wants to... There's like this sense of remorse here, Sagittarius. It's the sense of where... I don't know if you recently got into an argument or a fight, perhaps. Uh, or perhaps there's like this sense of like distancing where someone stopped trying so much when it comes to communicating. I feel like that's going to be coming to a close. I feel as if for you, Sagittarius, there's someone that you're going to be strengthening strengthening your bond with. 
I get like this sense for some of you guys, you're feeling a little bit sad or bummed out about the distance you're noticing between you and like your best friend or like you're noticing the distance, I feel. And so that's going to be closing out for you this uh, week or it's going to be building that momentum. Don't freak out too much, Sagittarius, all right? You might be noticing that sense of just like distancing apart, but y'all will be finding your way back to one another, all right? It's you're not, there's no closure there. I mean, we say this now, but the clarifiers, honey, could tell, call me a liar. <laughs> right but um now sagittarius your general tarot message is here ten of pentacles the hermit energy with the devil okay so for you sagittarius i feel like you guys for probably for a few weeks now i'm willing to bet you guys have been feeling extremely lonely isolated whether by choice or um maybe some of you guys just have felt abandoned with that devil energy but i feel like it's during this time of solitude that has really allowed you to reflect and realize the devils that you need to be working on or taking care of the devil could be coming in in the shape of an addiction could be coming in in the shape of for many of you guys it would be like this like an addiction or like a habit um, bad habit for others of you might be coming in as the shape of a person where it's just like you're realizing that there was a snake in your garden ten of pentacles and you're just like mm, how do i take care of that right it's like a lot of things you're going to be getting a lot of uh a much by the end of this week you'll have a much clearer idea Sagittarius of how you want to be managing certain things and keep in mind Sagittarius the heart of the spread here in general is the cherry energy all right so things are going to be fixing themselves up sooner than you uh realize like i personally i know i know i know i know the cherry energy is associated with cancer but i also personally associate the cherry energy with sagittarius i mean sue me honey but don't actually i mean you can honey but you ain't gonna get nothing honey you'll get a rubber duck if you sue me honey <laughs> i already had one of these stolen at the airport though so i mean i guess she is worth something honey miss janet so now sagittarius let's start getting into your clarifying cards here as a reminder we're going to start getting into your career and your financial situation and those cards were the page of swords three of wands with the seven of cups all right so one last shuffle here honey all right so the full energy i like to see that queen of cups with the page of cups here back of the deck is the seven of swords coming in here all right the seven of swords <sighs> let's take this in here darling let's take this in here you guys Sagittarius are going to be getting an opportunity I feel like for so many of you guys if you were to entertain this page of cups this offer because page of cups represents receiving an offer in this dynamic here all right don't give up on your uh, hmm. some of you guys might have given up on your dream or this desire or something all right don't talk yourself out of this there's like some opportunity if you were to be open-minded Sagittarius that really it's a new journey yes so it's not completely like out of your comfort zone here, but it would be so rewarding for you. I feel like it would just be so fulfilling if you were to just take action in regards to it. But again, there's like this sense of where um, you choose to not take action. You choose to not um, do certain things because perhaps with, I mean, with the seven of swords, you might just have a lot on your plate. And I understand that, right? I'm not trying to dismiss that, but I am just simply a messenger, Sagittarius, right? So I can let you know what energies coming your way right what energies um around you but it doesn't mean you have to but um i feel like for again for those sagittarius that make the time and energy for it like i said it once i feel like i'm gonna say it again like you will be successful sagittarius all right darling so now uh saggy let's take a look at your social life again clarifiers with the strength and chariot as well as the six of pentacles all right, five of cups coming in here, queen of swords with the nine of pentacles. Forgiveness seems to just keep on coming out here, Sagittarius. Like forgiveness, what does the back of the deck say? Magician energy. Yeah, it's like the sense of forgiveness. I feel like someone's might... Mm, that's a specific message. Some of you Sagittarius might be having someone in your personal life have health concerns 
and it's like through those health concerns someone like opens up or like through concerns like something triggers this somebody like something happens to this person you're dealing with Sagittarius that triggers for them to just appreciate things in life and they come forward to you with either like an apology it's like acknowledging that five of cups it's like that sense of being like hey like i'm sorry i was like such a crappy parent i'm sorry i was such a crappy like whatever it is like and i feel like you're just not anticipating it because i feel like it's somebody that because with this queen of swords queen of swords here with the nine of pentacles there's this sense of like a lot of responsibility that was placed on you because of the sense of like whatever happened with that queen uh five of uh, cups maybe it's like abandoned you betrayed you like whatever it's like you felt high and dry and then you have to like you won't you could only rely on yourself maybe this person really instilled some trust issues in you but i feel like they're going to be coming like something is going on with them sagittarius that causes for them to at the very least be thinking about you if not taking action all right that's a very specific message i haven't gotten that type of message before uh continuing on sagittarius let's get into your general messages here clarifying that as a reminder ten of pentacles hermit with the devil energy was in that row so we're clarifying that five of swords honey knight of swords here with the two of cups magician energy making its appearance once again here you know this would make now that i got that message in your social aspect sagittarius when you think about it it kind of makes this it kind of makes this energy make even more sense some of you guys are going to be having like a family member that just wronged you when you were growing up like something they're gonna have like either like i'm not trying to say that they're gonna have a health concern or something but like something makes them realize like where they need to like make amends right you know like or just getting right getting right with god honey you know <laughs> i don't mean to like make a joke out of it but i mean um darling that's just my personality honey like i would be making a joke at my own funeral honey so i mean if the triggers you oh well but um yeah i'm just kind of noticing that correlation anyways two of cups knight of swords with that five as well yeah i get like this sense of reunion with somebody it's like a change of heart like this knight of swords this is somebody that um bipolar maybe i i kind of associate this energy here sometimes as like someone that really just struggles with their mental health sometimes or just is like their their headspace is just kind of like uh self-sabotaging here you guys sagittarius just be expecting somebody like trying to make amends and apologizing for what it is that they did or said to you because again like the story writes itself darling it's really interesting here um i get for the majority of you guys uh it's like a family member maybe that's my own personal projection on it family member i i mean maybe for a select few it's like a old romantic connection but i feel like it's like more so platonic i feel like it's family or maybe like an old boss i was just like yeah i used to be a bitch or um old friend i don't know so let's get into your oracle cards to wrap up your weekly tarot reading sagittarius you have the last quarter moon coming in here darling which is probably gonna make you eye roll the message <laughs> which is saying lighten up all right lighten up here sagittarius when's the last time that you opened up the curtains all right some of you guys need to get out and get more sun i hear stop yourself from getting into a spiral is what i hear as well some of you guys well it's like one thing to just like feel it's like you're there's a sense of where you're licking your wounds or just whatever it is like you're feeling your feelings right your feelings are valid your feelings are extremely valid obviously darling who the heck am i to be saying that your feelings are not valid darling i have so many videos breaking down right sagittarius but it's this sense of where it's like experience your feelings but just don't have that those feelings that you're feeling just be your whole entire reality all right how many times can i say feelings that's gonna make sense for whoever it needs to make sense for or am I just saying that because I <laughs> want to just finish saying that? <laughs> you know, when you say something that don't make sense, you be like, you know what? It's meant to be for the one person, honey. It's going to find the right person. If it doesn't make sense for you, it just means it wasn't for you, right? 
<laughs> um, anyway, Sagittarius, your animal oracle card is the experiences you're presently going through are uh, your initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. Now, anytime I pull this tarot card, I feel like I need to unpack this a little bit here because when you initially read it, it's just kind of like, okay, that sounds really like intense, right? are overly deep sometimes for what it is that we're currently dealing with but in the sense here it's just this you see the initiation as a healer but more so in a sense of where it's this influence of like overall healing i kind of associate this energy as like shadow work like the experiences you're going through um is healing i, I want to say like inner child here again i get like i i really i've never gotten something like this before sagittarius but i really feel so strongly that some of you guys are going to be hearing like an apology or something like that from someone from your childhood that wrong i don't know honey i don't know girl y'all gonna have to keep me up to date Sagittarius. <laughs> anyways that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you darling if you enjoyed this let me know in the comments below and again be sure to comment honey if y'all get that closure honey i want to hear about it all right give me the gossip all right sagittarius but if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked down below simply Falco. Dot com. Remember, if you want to book, uh, rather, if you if you enjoy this weekly reading, be sure to check out your monthly tarot reading as well. I'll leave a link somewhere above here as well as down below. Um, but as well, if you want to connect with me, uh, Sagittarius, on a more personal level, uh, then my TikTok and Instagram are always available. Simply Velka. Same as here, darling. But I love you so much, Sagittarius, and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. I don't know why, but I feel the urge all of a sudden to keep on saying Leo. So some of y'all might be having a family member that's a Leo. I don't know. Girl. I'm going to end this now. Bye, Leo. Girl, there I go. Bye, Sagittarius. <laughs>